Hi, I am Peyton Tilson, your current student body president. Today is the election day for the student council officers for the 2018-2019 school year. In just a short time, you will hear the candidates' speeches. As you make your decisions, please remember that the students who are elected will be your voice throughout the next school year. Don't vote for the most popular candidate or who your friend is voting for. Vote for the candidate you think will best represent you. Your teacher will pass out the ballots for the speeches. You will need a number two pencil. Remember, vote for one candidate for president, vote one candidate for vice president, and one candidate for second vice president. Teachers, please remember that only current freshmen, sophomores, and juniors will be voting. S uh, seniors do not vote. So listen up and make your choice for your voice next year. Hi GCHS students, I'm Megan Jones, a junior here at the high school. Today is a very important day for you. It's the day you get to choose the future of your school for the next year. I hope your future has me as your president. Since I became a warrior, my dream has been to be the president my senior year. I've worked hard to be a person that people look up to and a person that works hard to make our school a good place. I want to continue to help the school grow and I think that is something I can do. Some of your greatest memories are made while you are in high school and I want to be someone that contributes to those memories. I will go out of my way to make sure students have a fun time this next year. This school is a home to all of us and I'm proud to be a warrior. I've been elected to student council three years and I'm also involved in Warrior Flock Foreign Language Club FCA and I've been a varsity soccer player since I was a freshman. I love being involved at this school and I want to continue to be. If you elect another candidate, I will sincerely wish them all of success and improvement of our students' life for the better, but I really hope that you make a good decision and choose me as your president. Good morning, Warriors. It's summer long and I'm running to be your student council president. Although I've been on the speech team, debate team, and played tennis for a solid one season, I also really enjoy taking it easy. But what I enjoy even more is being the candidate that cares for you. My freshman year, I was only involved in one activity, so I understand both being involved and not involved at all. However, because of this, I feel as if it's important we have every student participate in some way in GCHS. You don't have to be in a club to be involved at our school. You can simply watch and engage in our fun activities such as the welcome back rallies. However, that being said, I would also love to take steps to encourage students to be more engaged in our high school every day. This means watching and participating in our fun events such as our amazing academic teams, our astounding athletics, or just simply joining the fun and welcoming clubs at Granite City High School. However, to truly address the concerns of every student, we must also look to a paramount issue in our nation. We must promote safety in the classroom because to truly make any progress, we have to ensure that all students at Granite City High School are safe. So this means increasing safety measures, engaging more students within the high school, and all in all, making sure everyone is having an astounding time. So all you have to do is join the ride and join the tribe. All you have to do is vote for the candidate that cares for you. Number two, Summer Long. Good morning, GCHS. I know what you're thinking. How long is this video going to be and what are we going to have for lunch today? Well, I'm going to make this short and sweet and way better than Channel 1 News. My name is Marla Garcia. I'm a junior here at Grand City High School and I'm running to be your student body president. I believe I'm the best candidate because I'm very involved in our school and I take pride in being a warrior. I'm in Renaissance Club, Yearbook Club, Varsity Club, and many other clubs here at the high school. One of the reasons I believe you should vote for me is because I am honest, I'm trustworthy, I'm competitive and ambitious, yet I'm friendly to everybody. Making friends and talking to people are my hobbies. I talk a lot. For those of you that know me, <laughs> you know I talk a lot. But that's just another reason why you should vote for me. I want to use my voice to represent you, whether you're in hobby club, band, bass fishing club, or your book. I want to be the kind of leader to break people out of their shell and show you that it's okay to be yourself. Unless you're the type of person to drink hot dog water. But if you don't drink hot dog water, vote for me, number three, and I'll be lit like a Christmas tree. Thank you. Good morning, GCHS. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Brooke Batson. There is 
means more to me than just being the girl who sings boys boys. I am a leader of FCA, a member of the Foreign Language Club, I am in the Renaissance program, a former member of the GCHS dance team, and I have been elected to student council the past two years. I am a warrior at heart and want to do everything I can to ensure that all students have positive experiences throughout their high school career. I also want to be a part of developing a school safety program so that students feel safe. As your Vice President, my goal is to encourage respect and positive relationships throughout the school. I also want to inspire others to get involved in the school community. So here, here are the top five reasons why you should vote number five to be your Vice President. Number five, I am responsible and will take this position seriously. Number four, I am creative and will work hard to find fair solutions. Number three, I am dedicated and look forward to representing the entire student body. Number two, I am outgoing and not afraid to speak our voice. And the number one reason to vote for Brooke Batson is because votes, votes. I like votes. So remember GCHS, vote Brooke Batson, number five, to be your vice president. I won't let you down. Like Kanye was tweeted, I specifically ordered Persian rugs with cherub imagery. What do I have to do to get a Persian rug with cherub imagery? GCHS, that is the exact amount of dedication I will have to get what you want. Hi, my name is Fayel Patel. I'm a junior, my favorite color is yellow, I could eat pasta all day, and I smile way too much. But that's just the first part of who I really am. What really defines me is that I'm a social justice activist and I'm always the first one to volunteer my time in and out of student council. Student council does a lot of behind the scenes work that nobody really sees and we need a leader who's going to be there for every single one of them. If I become your vice president, my ultimate goal for GCHS is to make everyone feel like they have a place here. My freshman year I wasn't really involved and I didn't do much, but come now, my junior year, I'm on the tennis team and I found my spot in student council. This year I also took part in a social justice organization called Gateway to Change. Gateway to Change made me recognize that I have a voice and showed me the leadership opportunities it takes to use it. I want to use that voice to help all students here at GCHS find their place that makes them most comfortable. I hope you take everything I said into careful consideration while voting for your next vice president. As Waka Flocka said, I'm going to try my hardest to make y'all young bulls prosper. So remember, vote for number six and there won't be any tricks. Hey, what's up, Warriors? I know what you're thinking. Speech number seven. Why should I listen to this guy? Well, let me give you a few reasons why you should listen to me and vote for me, Clayton Miller. For the people that don't know me, I'm a junior here at Grand State High School, and I've been involved in multiple sports and multiple clubs in my first couple years here, like FCA, Warrior Fly, Varsity Club, and the Warrior Athletic Committee. I've had the privilege to be elected to student council for three years, which makes me the longest person in student council that's running for an office. I also take great pride in attending Grand State High School, and I'd love for all you guys to come to all the sporting events and participate with me, cheering our teams to victory. So, vote for me, Clayton Miller. We'll make next year the best year. Number seven on the ballot. Go Warriors. Good morning, GCHS. My name is Sam Shelton, and I'm a junior here at the high school, and I'm running to be your next second VP. I was a member of student council both my freshman and sophomore year, and during that time, I got to be a part of many of the events that we look forward to here at GCHS. If I was asked what my favorite thing about being a student council was, I would say delivering Christmas baskets. I can't begin to put into words the things that you experience while delivering these baskets. This year I may not have got to deliver them, but I did receive the opportunity to donate. My teacher really encouraged our class to go the extra mile when donating. So I met with many of the businesses here at GC, and I saw firsthand how they didn't he or hesitate to help when it came to donating. I received so many generous donations. The community really came together and acted as one. That's exactly what I want to do as second VP. I want to bring everyone together. and. I want to be the voice behind all the great opinions and ideas that we as students have to offer. I want to make our time here as enjoyable and memorable as possible. So if you vote for me for second VP, I will do my best at making all this a reality. Remember, GC Strong. Yeah. Hi, I'm Macy Watson and I'm running for second vice president of student council. From the first day I arrived at Granite City High School, I knew I wanted to become more involved. From being elected into student council for the past two years and joining the Warrior Flock this year, I've had the opportunity to get more involved and learn new leadership skills. Each year I strive to help make GCHS a better place, and that is why I want to be your second vice president. 
Running for this position has honestly been a very scary risk for me because it's hard for me to get out of my comfort zone and be in front of the whole school. However, I am willing to take this risk to help make GCHS the best place it can be. So, by doing so, I hope that I can encourage you, the GCHS students, to get out of your comfort zone and be more involved with me. So please, be a gym and vote for number 10 as your second vice president. Good morning, GCHS. My name is Nick Grody. If you don't know me, then yes, I am the very tall kid in the hallways. And I'm here to run for your second vice president. I believe I should be your second vice president because I have what it takes to be a leader. I've learned very much from the people around me here in student council. What I love most about GCHS is the spirit. Being a basketball player here, uh, I know how much it benefits the sports teams to have such a big crowd at the games. I want to spread the spirit around here at the school and I want to make sure that the tribe stays lit. I also believe everyone's opinion matters. GCHS is one family and we should all be able to voice our opinions. I want everyone to share their ideas on what would better the school and make a better environment around here for the students. I'm hardworking, dedicated, and responsible, and these are must-have traits in order to hold this position. So please, be the GOAT and vote for GROWTH. Go Warriors!